One of Sony Animation's early films was Surf's Up. It came out around a time when penguins were a fad. Seriously, in the late 2000s, penguins were everywhere. You had them in the Madagascar films, there was Happy Feet, there was March of the Penguins, the documentary that came out, and there was Surf's Up. Surf's Up is about a penguin that wants to be a star surfer by entering a competition and winning it. The unique thing about this movie is that it's done in a documentary style that I don't really see in a lot of animated movies. It's parodying a lot of sports documentaries, mainly The Endless Summer from 1966, where it followed these surfers that went around the world. In Surf's Up, it stays true to the documentary style. There are cutaways with interviews of the characters, and when you're following the characters, you're actually following them with the crew. So that's definitely something that makes it stand out from other animated films. Shia LaBeouf plays the main character of Cody Maverick, and he's fine, but there are some better performances. Mainly being Jeff Bridges who plays this mentor character. He's perfect for the role of an older surfer dude. I mean, he is the dude. There's also James Wood's character, who is a parody of Don King. He's pretty much what you would expect with that. He also has an assistant that's a shorebird, and he moves just the way those birds do, and I find that hilarious. Another standout character is Chicken Joe, who's played by John Hader. I guess he was at the peak of his popularity then, because I haven't heard of him in anything big lately. There's quite a bit of humor thrown into this movie that sometimes caught me off guard. Like near the beginning when they're talking about what happened to Cody's dad, he was eaten by an orca. There's also some adult jokes thrown in that I didn't really realize were in there when I first saw this movie. This movie did come out when I was an adult, it came out in 2007, but I only had seen it on TV just at random times and never really just watched it just to watch it. So a lot of those adult jokes I just didn't catch. Like when the Jeff Bridges character asked the rival character, Tank Evans, if he has sand in his egg sac. He's basically asking him if he has sand in his vagina. Speaking of Tank Evans, there's also quite a bit of humor with him as well. I just love how relentless he is while surfing and just running over these innocent kids. And there's also this scene of him polishing his trophies showing how narcissistic he is. The animation itself is pretty impressive for a non-Pixar studio at the time, especially the water effects. The character models look okay, but they really paid more attention to making the water look good. I mean, I guess that's the most important thing if you're making a movie about surfing. This is probably one of Sony Animation's best movies, so I was curious who directed it. Apparently it was directed by Ash Brannon and Chris Buck. Which, fun fact, one of my best friends in middle school was named Chris Buck. But this guy is definitely not the same one. I'm not that old. But anyway, Ash Brannon would go on to direct Rock Dog, which I actually reviewed earlier this year. People seem to like that movie a lot more than I do. Chris Buck, however, would go on to co-direct Frozen. So he's doing well. What's funny is both of them didn't direct anything between Surf's Up and those two films I just mentioned. So Surf's Up, even though it is a Sony animation film and they've been getting a lot of flack lately, is actually pretty decent. Surf's Up even has a sequel with Surf's Up 2, Wave Mania, with the wrestlers, it's a WWE crossover? Okay. And I have watched that crap with Saber back when he did his WWE video. It's really weird. So if you have seen Surf's Up, Tell me down in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, by now, we're getting a bit used to winter. We're like soldiers in the middle of a campaign, growing hardened to discomfort and better in.